please hit subscribe and change it to past tense. Hi Speechies, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Speech Fairies. Today I have a little haul from our friends over at Once Upon a Child. So I've got a puzzle, I've got this cool little hedgehog giving me the side eye here, and another toy down at the bottom. So let's start with this guy, Hedgehog 399. I can't remember the name of this game, but I have seen it at um, the Chapters in Indigo. I can't remember the name. If I remember, I'll put it down below. So he comes with all these like little Nerf kind of foam darts, or I guess they're his prickles for Mr. Hedgehog. I guess you could call him a porcupine too, if you want. Get a good look at him. So it comes with all these little darts and they're soft and I believe they go here up, up top. So there's orange ones, red ones, and I believe purple. So we'll see if we got them all. I'm not sure that I'm super hopeful that we did, but that's okay. This is where I get kids to earn these little guys so that they can do their targets. They can earn these by doing their speech and language targets. So we did get them all. Okay, they're all in. Now what? I'm not sure. I'm pulling on this little lever. And now I'm not sure what to do. I guess that's we could try to pull them out and see if anything happens. See if they pop or anything. Oh, his head bobs here. So maybe we have to push his nose down. Oh, and then... He pops. Good for third person singular. And then we can lock and load him again. He didn't really push, they didn't really go anywhere. So let's try that again. We pull his tail back. And then we can push his nose down. Oh, there we go. Some popped. Good for past tense too. So that's it. We can earn and pop. So I don't know if he's called Porcupine Pop, but I will put that down below if I can find the name of him. But I think he's a hedgehog. He doesn't like to be touched, that's for sure. So I thought that was a cute little reinforcing game just for $3.99. So I was happy to find that. And then today on this Ravensburger puzzle. I just love Ravensburger puzzles and games. And for me, I thought this might work for action words. I'm always looking for good action word puzzles. But I have no idea what it comes with, but maybe we can put it together and see what action words we can work on. So number one is like a little house. And this boy, we could kind of guess what's happening with him. Maybe he's leaving the house. Oops, let's see if I can zoom in. So I put the house in. I'm thinking maybe he's leaving the house. Maybe. So let's find what number two is doing. Looks like a bird or something. Nope, it's puppies. Maybe good for plurals. Oh, there's two puppies. And look, she is saying hi to the puppies. So that's two. Number three, he's conveniently running. Let me put the three trees in. More work on plurals. He is running past the trees. I like this puzzle. So it's a numbers puzzle primarily, but I think I could use it for action words too. Sheep is an irregular plural. But you could say lambs if you wanted to for lambs. She is feeding the lambs. Number five, you can guess what's in the water. Goldfish. You can't say goldfishes, but so that's a regular. But he is watching the goldfish. And then we've got this girl down here. Number six, she is looking at the flowers. Numbers, so that's six, and then this one's seven. They're not really doing much except looking. He 
is looking at the birds on the fence. And number eight. She is looking at the ducks. So I guess we're doing a lot of looking. This number nine girl is looking at flowers. And number 10 is looking at apples. So there's not that many verbs. So I don't know if that's probably not what I would use it for. I'd definitely use it for plurals. Um, there are, of course, the irregulars like geese and fish, flowers, birds, flowers, tulips, sunflowers, sheep or lambs, trees, dogs, and the one house. So again, it's a nice sturdy puzzle. It is made of cardboard. It's from 1986, but it's like brand new condition. It's not bent or warped or anything. And it was $2.50. And I like how you can like pop out the pieces from the back. So that was a pretty good find for that price. And the last one I got here is the best. It's jitterbugs. I don't think it has batteries, but it's when you turn it on, usually it goes bzzz, vibrates. It's very loud, so I'm actually glad that the batteries are not in there. And so I use this one often for a reinforcer game. And it comes with these, oops, comes with these little fishing rods and they have little spiders attached. So I like that for my S blends. They're all tangled up really badly right now <laughs> in four different colors. And these are the bugs that come with it. So they're like little ladybugs, good for working on L. They also have spots and they go on this little, it's paper actually, so it's not great for washing it, but um, it's by that ELC company. I'll just show you the logo. That's the ELC company, Early Learning, I think. Something like that. So I've got to untangle those and we'll count how many bugs we got in different colors. I don't think we got them all. So there's green, blue, red. Yes, definitely missing some, but I think we have enough to play and they kind of scoot around the board when it's vibrating. So it looks like there's probably supposed to be three of each color. And the only ones we got three of are the dark blue and, no, sorry, only the light blue. We got three of those and the rest we got two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good turns. And then when we have our spiders, we can try to catch them, either matching colors, same colors or different colors. The spiders can catch the ladybugs. I don't know why the ladybugs are smiling, but they are. So that's it for my little Once Upon a Child haul. Not too, too bad. I'm excited about the hedgehog game. I may or may not use this one. I may rehome this puzzle, but it's kind of cute. And I like the boys and girls too for he and she. And I always like to have an extra jitterbugs because I know sometimes they, they die. So it's good to have some backups for that as well. So if you like this video, you can give us a thumbs up comment down below. Let me know more of what you want to see. If you like these little hauls or not, uh, what I like to use the toys for. If you haven't already, please join our speech fairies family. We are all speech fairies. For those who have already subscribed, we're so grateful to have you as part of our family every single day. Thank you for watching and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now, everyone.